This last weekend, I had a dream of mine come true, and it's all thanks to Einhell Canada, who, as you can see, is one of the sponsors of the AMG Patronus team. So Sunday morning, I headed up these stairs and through this checkpoint, and then up these stairs and over to the Amex booth to grab the race commentator headset, and then turn left and headed through these doors and made our way through everything until we found the AMG Patronus race lounge, which is where I was lucky enough to watch the whole race from. And shortly after we arrived, their driver, George Russell, who the day before had put down the fastest lap first, and was now sitting in pole position for today's race, came in and gave a little speech and told us about their strategy and what they were doing to go into the race today. And then he had to go and get ready for the race, but was kind enough to stop and sign this kid's hat who had been waiting for him all morning. And then this guy came over and showed us this incredibly complex power recovery system. Even the turbocharger being transitioned by 125,000 RPM. And I couldn't believe it, but then we got to go and walk down the pit lane as all the teams were getting ready for the race. And I'm not even embarrassed to admit it, I was like a schoolgirl at a Taylor Swift concert. Watch and listen as the team practices a pit stop. I had my mind blown over and over and over again all day long. And then it started to rain and I didn't even care. I stood out there and watched as George and one of the crew members looked over and talked about the car and the race to come. And then I had my mind blown again. I went back upstairs and this team member brought out the steering wheel of the F1 cars. And took the time to explain to us what all the different buttons do and to answer all our questions. And then the car started to come out. <laughs> And then after a few warm-up laps around the track, they lift the cars up and back them into the garage again to do the final setup for the race. And you can see right here, they've got four of the Einhell blowers that they're using to blow down towards the brakes and the tires to get them as cool as possible before the race. Now, for those of you that don't know, Einhell is a German company that's been around for more than 60 years, and they manufacture and sell a massive line of all different kinds of tools and have now just recently entered the Canadian market. And then the cars came back out and based on their qualifying the day before, headed out to the position they were in. And then the drivers started to make their way to the cars. Here's Fernando Alonso and Carlos Sainz and Daniel Ricciardo. And then the national anthem was about to start and Pierre Gasly was late, so he was booking it to try to get to his car on time. And then the national anthem started and Yuki Tsunoda wasn't there yet, so he really had to rush to get to his car. Then the Canadian snowbirds flew over. The crew got started using the blowers to drive the pit stop and the race got started. <laughs> And after the first lap, George still held on to first place, followed by Max Verstappen and Lando Norris. And then after a bunch of wet racing, the rain cleared up and the sun came out, and the crew really got to work blowing off the pit stop to try dry it out. Unfortunately, Sergio Perez crashed his Red Bull car and had to bring it back in and retire the car for the race, as did both the Ferrari cars as well. And then we got to see the Patronus team double stack both cars in the pit lane, which was really impressive to watch. Another cool thing was that when you step back inside the booth, they had a whole wall of screens that had a whole bunch of the race data. So you could see who was leading the race, you saw footage from the race, you saw the positioning, the splits, the weather, the position on track and everything. And then you could just pop back outside when the cars were coming around that section of the racetrack to watch them come by live. And this was a really intense race and both Mercedes cars were up towards the front battling for different positions. And it was so cool to be inside the Mercedes booth and listen to the crowd as the different pass attempts and passes were made. And after a crazy 70 laps, Max Verstappen came across the line to win the Canadian Grand Prix and his 60th race with Lando Norris in second, George Russell in third, and Lewis Hamilton in fourth. And now I can't stop smiling and I'm trying to figure out how to go to as many F1 races as possible.